Hello, Zebra Herd. Today we race around with iconic monster trucks in Monster Jam Showdown. The newest Monster Jam game is filled with both racing and freestyle action. So I'm super excited to check it out in today's episode of Zebra's Arcade, a series where we try a new game every episode. Let's get started. Here we are in our Monster Jam garage. We can pick our favorite one here out of these choices. We have the basic Monster Jam truck here, the Vendetta, and the Grave Digger, the Legend. So the original like retro Grave Digger, very cool. Out of these three, I'm really into the Vendetta. Let's choose this one. The red and black is pretty cool. Welcome to the Monster Jam Showdown Training Ground. Here, you will learn the basic well, okay. I thought we could ride around while we talked. the brake to slow down. You'll All need right. to manage your speed effectively. Cool. So we're just learning how to play it's right now. It's time to drift. Use front steering while accelerating. Then release it at just the right moment to perform a full speed drift. All right. So as we're going full speed, I'm going to turn. Whoa. Like this, I think. Use front steering. While okay. There you go. It worked. Cool. Let's move on to the most exciting part. Jumping. Take a ramp and use the midair control to rotate your monster jam truck in midair. All right, so rotate left to right in midair. Let's take a big jump. I see this one right here. So as soon as we're ready, ready. Whoa! Is it working? We're sort of rolling. It's very slow. Oh man! Just press and hold the manual respawn button to get back on track. Try All right, it. there you go. Cool, cool, cool. Now. Make your way over to the smoke bombs to learn one last thing about these four-wheeled monsters. Monster Jam trucks are equipped with rear steering, enabling them to make very sharp turns. Use it to tackle the trail left by the smoke bombs. All right, so there is both front wheel and rear wheel steering, and I can really change things up. So we need to reach the smoke bombs over there. All right, I think we're supposed to go through like this little course over this so we can sharp turn oh but i hit him whoops okay back it up a little bit keep it moving i love seeing the destruction on the truck too very cool oh oh no it was this thing right here i see i see i thought there was like a whole path we were heading towards so let's turn right here you don't want to go full throttle all the time we're gonna hit the walls like that and that won't be so good but right, this again there we go would that be good enough Oh, I see. We went through that smoke. Now we're going to go through this one. Well done. We did it. Awesome. Congratulations. Congratulations. Now that you've got the hang of driving these five-ton beasts, it's time to push them to their limits with some stunts. In the world of Monster Jam Showdown, it's important to master not only driving skills, but also a series of spectacular stunts. Head over to the containers and interact to see the instructions on how to perform the stunts and try them out right away. If you think you nailed them, you can exit at any time using the pause menu. Cool, so well, let's try to figure out some of these tricks then. You think you've nailed it. Will it actually show me, let's see, a stoppy? Whoa, I actually, yeah, stillness, here we go. So it'll show me different moves. I don't wanna learn every single one of them right now, but obviously there's like just different things that'll give different points, including even just basic things like jumping up in the air is gonna give us some points, drifting while we were turning, the big air. But if I wanted to do something like a donut, perform on the spot uh, leftward rotations with all four wheels on the ground to execute a left side donut, the more rotations you complete, the more points you earn. Okay, so I think for something like that, you'd want to like, Hmm. I think there might be like a break you can press. I'm not really sure exactly the buttons we need to press for it, but that's what I was expecting. Oh wait, no, that's the wrong button. <laughs> no, wait. Oh no, we did that one. Uh, whoops. Uh, but yeah, I guess I'll need to figure out how to execute some of those tricks. But for the most part, I wanted to do the uh, the racing anyways. That was still pretty cool. We we're able to hop through that new level reached. Um, and we have different choices here. So we have showdown tour, multiplayer, our garage, our training ground, if we wanted to train a little bit more. I wouldn't mind trying to figure out one or two tricks, but uh, to do that, uh, stunts tutorial. This is what I meant to do. In the world of monster yep, that's what we saw before. So, hold on, stunt list. Yeah, 
So some of these are just doing backflips, but it doesn't actually tell you what buttons to press, which is interesting. For the donut, I'm pretty sure you have to like actually be braking while you do it. And there's like little tricks like this, like the bicycle. That's like when you get two wheels off the ground and ride it out like that, which is pretty cool. So if I were to do this, there we go. That's like a very short bicycle, but you get the idea. Okay, so if I... Hmm. Oh, I see if I use, whoa, here we go. I got it, I got it, I figured it out, cool. Oh, I like it. If you turn both the front and the back wheels at the same time, super loud, <laughs> which is, you know, just what monster trucks are all about, right? I've been to one Monster Jam show before. It was so much fun. And, uh, oh no, I fell. <laughs> um, it's so incredibly loud, but that's the fun of it for sure. Okay, let's maybe figure out one more stunt. I would love to do like a backflip. So I think for something like that, we just need to go to a big jump. Whoa, okay, whoa, hold it, hold it. That was really cool. Oh, we're still holding this, wow. Okay, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> I'm getting carried away with this now. Oh, we're just, oh, 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 there we go. This is a big trick, it's the wheelie. Just because you need to be able to gas it up just right to stay up. But that was cool. Let's go over here and see if I can't figure out a backflip real quick. It can be really difficult to drive straight, but whoa! Come on, oh, I almost landed it. Wait a minute, no. Hold on, can I, ah, not quite. All right, I think we get the idea though. That was a ton of fun. Um, well, let's go ahead and end the tutorial and try out some actual game modes now. The Showdown Tour. This where is the Ooh. Showdown Tour. Challenge opponents in all kinds of races set in some of the most extreme environments on the planet. No time to waste. Let's get straight to the first event. All right, so our first one's in Death Valley, whoa. The organization has divided the maps into several regions, each hosting different types of events. However, not all regions are accessible. You have to prove yourself worthy to be able to access other regions and unlock new events. But let's stick to the ones that are available for now. All right, so the one we could choose from right, for right now is Deadly Plain. Events are the heart of the Showdown Tour. Each event is divided into three categories, racing, stunt, and short. These categories have specific rules that will put your skills to the test when you're aboard Monster Jam trucks. Now, choose an event and join the fun. All right, so our first event is right here, Circuit Training Sand Dash. All right, so we're racing through. I hope we can win. Um, right now it looks like I have it set on easy. I'm gonna keep it that way just to see how tough this game is gonna be. If it seems like we can handle a bigger challenge, I'll definitely throw one our way. But our objective is just to race against your opponents on the circuit and cross the finish line in the lead on the final lap. We can use boost and shortcuts to overtake our opponent, so let's go! In the Death Valley sun, and that's the engines in your favorite Monster Jam trucks! Yeah. Oh, I didn't even press anything. He just got cut off. All right. Our first race here with Vendetta. There's another Vendetta in front of us. <laughs> All right, so we gotta keep this in the optimal range to get a good start. Didn't quite do it. On the bottom right there, we just gotta pay attention to our thing. Whoa, big traffic jam right at the beginning. Come on. This is so cool. I remember there being a Monster Jam game on the PlayStation 2 that I used to play when I was younger. I think it was called like Monster Jam 4x4, something like that really cool game. I remember that one specifically because if you got everything unlocked, I think you like unlocked the moon as a playable area. Well, let's take this inner corner. A little bit of a shortcut here. That's great. Oh, out of the way. Out of the way, Monster Mutt. I love Monster Mutt. One of my favorite monster trucks. And that's what I would love to hear from you guys today. What is your favorite monster truck? So many good ones to choose from. Whoa. Okay, I'll go this way, I'll go this way. Monster Mutt is definitely up there for me. Oh man, oh, that one hurt a little bit. But of course, Grave Digger, very popular favorite for a lot of people. Oh man, picking up some major speed there as we head into the second lap. Grave Digger, the legend, is in first place. We're right behind you though. Come on, earning up lots of points too, which is cool. We go easy on the gas at times. You don't want to go full throttle at all times, so you might just fly on the outside of the turn. We got the major drift, though. What's cool is that you can steer with, like, one set of tires and then adjust with the other. So I've been trying to, you know, take, like, a big 
right turn here and then adjust it a little bit with the back tires to really try to get that specific angle. All right, whoa, jumping through again, gonna land on top of the Grave Digger, no way. I'll go this way, it's a little bit of a wider turn, which I definitely prefer so far. Oh, whoa, come on, come on. Need to earn up more of a boost again, which I think we do that by drifting and destroying things. Here we go, here we go. Rush over to the finish line. I love how dirty our car has gotten to our truck. Just through riding through and destroying everything. Very, very cool. I forget the name of it right now, but another one of my favorite monster trucks is the one that looks like a, uh, just like an actual, like, digger, the yellow kind that, like, you know, are on construction sites. All right, we'll go this way again, because it turned out pretty well before or not. Somehow I'll end up in the middle of the two of them. Oh my gosh, what has happened? <laughs> Come on, go, go, go. We gotta pick up some speed now. Somehow I'm still in first place after all that. I'm a little confused, but it might not stay that way for very long if we don't hustle over. So, oh, extreme jump and extreme landing. I wanna go this way this time if possible. Gravedigger is right behind me, so there's no time to waste here by hitting the corner of that rock. Come on, come on, we're at the last stretch right here. Boost through as much as I can, and boom, we get the win. Final position, first place. I'm glad we could win our first Monster Jam race. That is awesome, with a huge lead, so I think we're good to probably jump up the difficulty. when somebody pushes it to the limit. Monster Jam family, I give you the victor, Vendetta! Very cool. So we're gonna move on from that one. We get first place, we get a couple of tokens. That's good to see, and we're moving out. So, Technician is our new like little title wow, here. that was amazing. Each time you join an event, you will unlock new events within the same category. Aim for the podium to earn tokens. The higher your position, the more tokens you'll get. Collect right. tokens in each category to join a special showdown event. You may proceed as you like, but try to get all the tokens in all the categories to reach the top of the showdown tour. All right, so four easy pieces, complete four challenges in the first steps section. We got two of them done right there. We can see more of our challenges by going here, I think. First steps, something new, select a, mon a new Monster Jam truck. Cool, so we can do a lot of stuff here. Change your banner icon. A lot of these are pretty simple things. Good to see that. So, backing up over here, what are some other options that we have? I do want to change the truck just for the variety of it. So we also have the Monster Jam truck like this. Um, and then, yeah, you can see there's so many monster trucks. There are 40 of them in total. That's awesome, that's just so many. Uh, and you can see the conditions for unlocking them too. So. Whoa, you have to do a lot for some of these. Uh, anyways, I think we're good just to choose this one, back up, and that does give me a new challenge completed. Very nice. Uh, and I don't know if there's a way to change the other stuff from here. I don't think so. So let's try a different mode. We have figure eight racing. We also have a horde, mirage mayhem circuit deadly plane. Let's try this one and then Instead of easy, I'll try normal. We'll see if we can't keep up with all that. So with Mirage Mayhem Circuit, let's give this a go. I don't really know what the difference is for this kind of game mode, but we're gonna find out. So our objective is in this mode, you'll play as a hunter who has to capture the runners. Capture them all before time runs out and hold first position. Whoa. Tips to capture a member of the runner team, you must first outrun them. If you manage to maintain a higher position long enough, the runner will be captured and join the hunter team. Even the most inhospitable place on the planet is no match for the most monstrous vehicles ever seen. Fans of the I don't know why it cuts off when I don't press anything, but we're getting started with the race. So we are a runner, or no, we're not a runner, we're a hunter. We have to catch the runners. Let's give it a go then. And we're not alone, we have another hunter here, the Excalibur, such a cool truck, but boom! I can hit you, but that's not enough? Uh-oh, uh oh boom, I made you crash there. I think we got you after a good couple of crashes. It just doesn't happen right away. Oh no, I was gonna try to hit that one person, I think. Maybe not, because like now I'm, you're back to being a runner. 
I'm just gonna slam you. I'm gonna push you. Uh oh, watch out. Watch out. <laughs> this is really awkward. I'm a little confused. I thought we just had to run into them to make this happen. Okay. Runners left six. One, two, three, four, five. I see one way up there. Okay. See, like, the, the, the meter's filling up. Okay, capture. Where? Oh, I see. So once the meter is filled up, they just become... They're just a hunter now. Okay, well, this isn't very helpful. You're on my team now. Hold on, hold on. This is not the way I wanted to go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. There we go. Much better. I gotta catch up big time. I think I just need to be ahead of them, is the thing. And that's why I'm getting confused here. But time is ticking. We're down to 25 seconds on the clock. Oh my gosh, whoa, how, why, why am I turning that way? I was holding to the right. Gotta get used to some of this for sure. I don't know if we'll quite get it, but I was a little confused. I thought I had to like make them crash or something, but with eight seconds remaining, I just don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah, we're gonna try this again though, because I sort of understand a little bit we're final position eighth. Yeah, I think we just gotta be in front. So the runners win. Let's replay it real quick. Well, not, not like not, not see a replay. I wanted to replay the mission. All right, skip, play again. Here we go. All right, give this another go. Gotta win with the monster jam truck. All right, off we go. So this time, no playing around. I am just gonna bump into as many people as we can. Oh my gosh. All right, slow down a little bit so I can maybe try to get around them like this. And that meter's going up. We just uh, captured the, the son of a digger. And here's the Jester and Shaker too. All right, we gotta get in front of Mo Monster Mutt and Jester. Right, here we go, big speed boost, but I hit the post. Oh, and I'm stuck on it too. Not good. Oh, that's gonna make things tough here. We have a minute and a half to get back ahead. We got the Bakugan Dragonoid. Whoa, that's a cool one. All right, we're slamming through all this. We can cut the corner a little bit, but much harder to ride. Oh my gosh, and every time I'm about to get ahead, I hit the post. We got a minute left. Can I make it happen? Oh man, I was scared I wasn't gonna make that jump. So many more hunters now. As long as one of us can get ahead here. Everybody, I need to just scoot out of the way. I gotta catch up to the very front. This is a great straightaway to really boost through. We're back at the, the Dragonoid. You guys gotta move, please. <laughs> there we go, there we go. We almost got you captured. And that does give me more time, is capturing. There's only two runners. You gotta move! <laughs> You're supposed to be on my team. If you could at least scoot out of the way, I'd really appreciate that. But no, you keep popping up. Come on, come on, come on. I'm almost there, I'm almost there. The gesture is going down here in a second. If I have anything to say about it, you get back here, come on. Again, the same post. Get out of here. Okay, respawn real quick. Oh, this is not good. But the gesture is being captured. All we have to do is find a way over to that last one. It's the monster mud again. Jeez, this is tough. Maybe I'm not quite ready for normal mode. Wow, okay, come on, 20 seconds remaining. Oh, come on. I don't think we're gonna be able to make it in time. Nobody else is near them too. Not a good sign. Yeah, I keep hitting every single wall. All right, not good. Eight seconds remaining. I don't see where they are. I don't know if there's like overtime or anything. I just keep running into my own teammates, which makes it real tough. So I think Monster Mutt won again, just cause too much traffic there. <laughs> I'm gonna try one more time. All right, I have cut ahead of Monster Mutt. And because of that, we are firmly in the lead. If I can keep this, I think we'll just naturally start capturing. So that's the goal. There we go, Monster Mutt Damnation's being captured. You can see it on the bottom there. Come on, come on, come on. 
There we go, we won it this time. I just needed to get ahead of my own teammate. And that really helped out with this race, for sure. All right, well, I'm happy we got that one. A ton of experience too, we are now level three. Awesome. And we get all the earned tokens, times six in total, very cool. So that we can put in another challenge, score 6,000 points during the drift stunt. Awesome. So we're making good progress here for sure. There's other game modes like the figure eight racing and the circuit racing. Seems like a lot of racing for sure. But if we could get to this showdown one, I'd be happy to check that out. So to do that, um, we need 80 tokens. That's gonna take me a while. I don't know if we'll be able to have the time to do that today. But I wanna change the truck one more time. We'll try the Gravedigger Legend and do Figure Out Racing Inferno Intersection. All right. There's only one thing hotter than the Death Valley sun, and that's the engines in your favorite Monster Jam trucks. Yeah. All right, it's time for our first Figure Eight race, which is gonna get pretty crazy just because everybody's gonna be running into each other here in a moment. All right, a decent start. They've got the Crush Station, the Thunder Roarus. Crazy monster trucks I've never even heard of before, so that's pretty cool. I think that's been my favorite thing so far is learning about new monster trucks here. This is really crowded. Starting in the back definitely makes this part difficult, but if we can get past this little intersection before the traffic comes through, that's what's worrisome, is that eventually, a bunch of people are gonna be coming through this part while the others are still wrapping around it, and we're all gonna run into each other, and that's gonna be crazy. So if I could take a good line here and just get another position forward, we're at fourth place right now. So far, so good, but as the competition spreads out a little bit more, this is gonna get nasty. This is why you always look both ways before you cross, oh no. Oh, okay, I made them crash, which is a huge advantage to me. We're now in third place with Wild Side right in front of us. A big drift there. Oh, okay, you can see some of them crashing. I almost got crashed into there. Out of the way, Wild Side. Just a little bit more. Huge drift right there. I think if I just boost through, there we go. We're in second place, El Toro Loco, another favorite of mine. Right in front of us. I think we can get you though. I really do. Watch out! Oh no! The Dragonoid cr crashing into both of us, really shaking things up there in this fourth lap. Come on, come on. Big drift right there. If I could just, yeah, try to sneak through here at just the right time. We're actually catching up on what I think is the last place player here. A full loop. This is the last turn in this figure eight. Oh, and a huge drift around Crush Station. Maybe, uh, come on, at least I tried. There we go, there we go. I think we're about to make it happen. Do we get the win? Yes, we do. Awesome. We got our first place finish here in the figure eight Inferno intersection. That was cool. And after a simply incredible race, the winner is Grave Digger the Legend. All right, glad to see that one. We get over 2000 experience, a bunch more tokens, really good. So I think we have time for one more event today. So let's move over to this one over here. This is going to be the uh, Circuit Racing Desert Storm Race. Let's give it a go. And with this one, I will keep things mostly the same. Maybe I'll go full circle. I'll go back over to Vendetta. I think for these other trucks, I just need to complete more challenges. That's cool. Hopefully soon I can get those trucks because it seems like a lot of fun. But we'll go back to Vendetta and we will just start this event. And once again, he just gets cut off even though I don't press anything, it's so weird. But we're racing in the Desert Storm. We've raced it on this track before, but not quite in conditions like these, that is for sure. So hopefully I can remember how this track is laid out because if not, we're gonna run into some issues. So I can't see anything. Oh man, come on, I see lots of dirt trails from all these other trucks ripping through the track. Gonna cut the corner a little bit, gain some positions that way for sure. Trying to be slow around certain corners. Catching up on Velociraptor here. Oh, okay, I can smash through that. I got worried for a second, I couldn't. Ouch! Can't smash through that though. That's just rock. 
Big drift, big drift. That's it. And then if I can just jump through. Ooh, pushing out Gravedigger in the air. Back to third place now. I think that the ground here is a little shifted because I always end up going to the left more to the right than the right. So it must be like downhill a little bit or something. There we go, there we go. Come on, come on. That wasn't so bad, able to stabilize a little bit as we head into the second lap. So we know what's ahead of us. We just gotta execute it correctly. I got the big drifts coming in. I'm smashing through more stuff. Trying to use the boost appropriately. I almost fell off the side there. I guess it just resets you automatically. Which honestly, I appreciate that because it's a lot better than, you know, the opposite. Why am I turning that way? I wasn't even trying to. Oh, this is the worst. This is really, really bad. I always get stuck at the worst spots where I have the backup. Okay, come on, come on. Back and forth, please. Definitely not the most ideal situation. But I think we can gain some ground right here, especially if I could stay on the track. Things are getting a little intense here for sure. But I'm glad that we're, we're, we're keeping up with the difficulty that's a little higher than the Z mode, you know? Especially since it's my first time playing the game. There we go, that wasn't so bad. It's been a constant race here with me and Velociraptor. I haven't really been able to catch up the son of a digger too much. But, that might change right here. I think I wanna go this way this time, because we keep going the other way. It doesn't really turn out super well for me, so maybe this would be a bit better. All right, ready? Big boost right here over the competition, and then we can just speed off like this. Getting closer to you, buddy. You better be ready. Come on, this is it. I got a big hit there. I just need to take it a little bit slow on this section because if I can just handle this without crashing, get a big turn in right here, then we just boost right through just like this, just like this, and steal the win at the very end. That's amazing. Final position, first place here in this very dangerous weather condition. Amazing. Yeah, we know what it means when somebody pushes it to the limit. Monster Jam family, I give you the victor. Vendetta! Okay, so new level reached, level four. And with it, we get a bunch of tokens. Our completed challenge, as you can see, riding on air, score 3,000 points, doing the jump stunt. That's awesome. So we get a bunch of rewards here, including extra experience, extra titles, very good to see. So that was a super fun taste at all of the action here in Monster Jam Showdown. As you can see, there's so much more to it. Um, we can't quite get here. It looks like that might have unlocked different areas and different locations with like different game modes. There's a lot to experience in this game. So if you guys want to see me do more monster truck action, be sure to let me know if you want to see me turn this into a full series. But for right now, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of Zebra's Arcade. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.